up, everybody? This is Mitch Darrell. And before we get into the video, okay, just hear me out. I got three huge favors to ask, okay? Three typical YouTube favors, okay? So one, can you hit the like button, okay? The like button, just that, just that little thumbs up. You can just, you just click that real quick. We'd appreciate that. Second thing, can you hit the subscribe button, okay? I know, I know it's a lot to ask. I know you subscribe. You know, you're really, really stingy with who you subscribe to, but I, I promise you will not regret it if you could subscribe to us. And the third thing, if you could hit the bell, just so you'll be notified anytime we post anything, okay? So those three favors, I, you know, I'll be forever indebted to you. I appreciate it, okay? And while you're at it, if you could go ahead and go and check out my guys at tbk247.com as we change the culture for God. Peace. Gone. Just lost, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and we're like starting over again and mm -hmm. instead of in certain in, in certain genres in, in the music industry, there's this history that just it just keeps it's, going it's and race. going. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it, this is just a race. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's something to think. It's even it's crazy because like it's always the new kids like they're talking about mumble rap and like trap and the new wave. It's like mm -hmm. J Cole. I remember was referencing them saying same thing's gonna happen to you. Like you're young now. This is what it is. And yep. then someday, I even though I've just started, I could. I can tell as time goes by, I'm gonna feel some way like, oh, music's even more because to be honest, I'm part of the kids my age have, we were teenagers for when rap rap was still kind of a thing. And then as we got older, it like trap rap and mumble rap literally became a thing when we were like in high school. So it's like right. we're literally watching it go from, yo, it was Kendrick and J. Cole in 2010s. And now it's these kids who don't even really rap. So I can right. already see me being like, dang, like, everything's pop now like nothing's even is rap even yeah. i'm afraid rap's gonna die and that's a huge it, fear it may, bro <laughs> it, it may bro because the, this is the thing like it, those those distinct lines those lines where people were drawing lines in the in the sand mm. where i was talking about with with early christian hip-hop right where sometimes struck like people sometimes think the structure is bad like all bad like structure is <laughs> <It's definitely helpful. laughs> or, or traditions are helpful at times mm. right um, and so what began to happen was the line started to be blurred to where, you know, because 2004, 2005 era, if you were um, listening to, <laughs> if you were caught listening to or posting, you know, social media wasn't really a thing, but if you right. were posting, if it was, and you're posting about mainstream artists on your page, you would stones would be <laughs> hurled at you, right? Because it's like, what are you doing? Like we don't <laughs> we don't uphold this evil these evil works, and right, so. Right. But now, about the opposite. Name whoever, like <laughs> they it's celebrated. Yeah, right. It's it's celebrated and it's intertwined to where where now. That's why I'm like, what is Christian hip hop? Mm -hmm. Because. It, where's the line? Yeah, like what exactly. is the? It's just so it's it, and so now, it's it's bending from you know the mainstream Christian hip hop. It's gonna be genreless yeah, eventually yeah. to where we're not even gonna know the sound of <laughs> yeah of hip hop, let alone Christian hip hop. It's just yeah. gonna be music. Rap. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> just music. You know what I mean? Well, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, no, that was a great answer to that. Great perspective. Um, my next question, and I feel like this is not gonna lie. So when I was younger, I would say like, you know how we all go through this identity crisis type thing when we're younger. That's good. Like, yeah, kind of. Like you, you don't want to be like the friends. Any friends? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so do, do wonders like AI anomalies. Or I know that, right? Saga, who was on, on, on St. Beats. You're definitely more lyrical, so like you're not. I actually knew a guy in Miami that he was going to the same church. And I tweeted like last week that someday I'm gonna have a song with him. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. Um, so. <laughs>